Step into an attic during a heavy rainstorm, and you might notice something surprising. The roof beams above your head remain dry, even as the shingles glisten with water. For most homeowners, it seems almost magical, but the truth lies in a deceptively simple design element, the hidden air gap. Ancient builders from medieval Europe to Viking Scandinavia understood that moisture was the silent enemy of timber, and they designed roofs to keep beams dry year-round without relying on chemicals or modern sealants. Today, we're uncovering the secret of the hidden air gap and how you can use the same principle to protect your roof timber. Timber selection and preparation further enhance the system. Ancient builders used dense, slow-grown woods with tight grain and high natural resin content which resisted moisture penetration. Wood was air-dried for months or even years before installation, ensuring internal stability. Today, using reclaimed or slow-grown timber, coupled with proper seasoning, helps modern beams withstand the same environmental pressures that centuries-old roofs endured. Even in retrofit projects, creating an air gap beneath exposed timber and allowing it to acclimate reduces the risk of internal decay. Surface treatment complemented the hidden air gap strategy. Rather than relying on modern sealants that trap moisture, Builders use breathable substances such as pine tar, linseed oil, or light charring. These coatings repelled surface water but allowed vapour to escape, working in synergy with the air gap to keep timber dry. Modern breathable finishes can replicate this effect, especially when applied to exposed beams in attics or roof cavities where air circulation is possible. Joinery and timber placement were also integral. Beams were often spaced and interconnected to allow slight movement with changes in humidity and temperature. This flexibility prevented cracks from forming, which could otherwise allow water to enter. Ancient builders also incorporated maintenance into the system. Roofs were inspected seasonally, especially after storms, to ensure that vents were clear, shingles were intact, and the air gap remained unobstructed. Modern homeowners often overlook attics, allowing debris or insulation to block ventilation channels, undermining the effectiveness of even a well-designed air gap. Regular inspection, clearing of obstructions, and minor repairs can preserve the function of the hidden cavity for decades. Applying these principles today is straightforward. Ensure there is a ventilated cavity between the roof covering and structural timber. Maintain a slope that encourages water runoff. Use dense and well-seasoned timber. Apply breathable finishes and inspect the system regularly. Even simple measures, like installing ridge and soffit vents, spacing battens to create airflow, and keeping insulation from blocking ventilation channels, can replicate the hidden air gap's protective effect. If this guide gave you a new understanding of how to protect roof timber year-round, subscribe to the channel and share this episode with someone who wants a roof that stands the test of time. Relic Logic exists to uncover ancient construction intelligence that still works today, teaching us how to design roofs that keep timber dry, strong, and decay-free for generations. <laughs>